as the new age nun, the marriageable kind, the polyamorous kind, meaning I'm married with the divine and whoever I welcome into my life must enjoy the threesome. I want to talk about the helpless feminine and the damsel in distress. A mistake that a lot of boys make because only a boy would look at me and perceive my tale to be a tale of damsel in distress rather than a tale of rags to riches, pain to triumph, aka power. That is the plight of the masculine bodied being. The plight of the simple fact that without synchronization of the masculine feminine, the continuous project projection of this helpless feminine will be fed. And men will continuously believe that they need to be the Prince Charming to another rather than becoming the Prince Charming for themselves by connecting with their intuition. I really need men to understand this because a lot of men are out here going helter skelter. I made a video. It says Ava Max win, but I, la I later found out it's Anita. Okay, whatever. It doesn't fucking matter. Drake gets it. I used him as an example because it's so sad when you see males with all the perfect qualities but that one thing is that they're having a trouble, having very deep troubles assimilating the femininity because they continue to attract these quote unquote helpless feminines who are actually disguising their deep, dark, twisted masculinity. <laughs> okay. And I was talking about this on my live this morning. Come check out my lives. They're fun and it's like the club, the club for the sapio se actual. And at my club, I was telling these men, you need to stop being boys and get in touch with your femininity. It is not scary to feel soft and enjoy soft things. It's not just about wearing pink. <laughs> Yo, it's funny because it's really not just about wearing pink. Like, it's not, oh, I embrace my femininity. Like, I have gay friends. And <laughs> no, it's about really staying in tune with your intuition so that you're able to pick up on these helpless feminines who are playing you. It's more than just the period blood in the spaghetti, biz. It's also the fact that these are the women that suck y'all dry and not in the good way. <laughs> they take everything from you and it started with your narcissist mother. And from that journey, some people not having good relationships with their father, it just expands into the scary mess of you having a revolving door of women that never satisfy you because you're dealing with this weird doctrine that says women like me are not satisfactory. And yes, I'm going to say that. Sumptuousness is lustful and lust is bad. It doesn't matter if you're religious or not. It's somewhere in your DNA that was planted in you. So you go for the woman that is unwell, has nothing to give you, and you're left to cuddle yourself at night because she didn't come there to cuddle you. She came there for the wealth that you project or you actually do have. So I say all this to say, it's not about giving up the game. It's about the fact that I want to be in a world with healthy men. I want to be in a world with men. There are more boys than men and we need to see more boys to men. <laughs> Echoing off the sumptuous women, a sumptuous woman is what a man really wants. A sumptuous woman is a woman who 
knows her depths, knows her secrets, is in love with the divine, is able to multiply the, the wealth that a healthily in tune, balanced male, aka fully having embraced his masculinity and fin- and and, divin- and <laughs> femininity as the divinity <laughs> that it is in its wholeness. Sheesh. <laughs> Coming into that all together creates the power couple. Everyone deserves to be in a power couple. Everybody deserves to be in a relationship where it's not one person leaning on the other person and the other person is left out in the cold. And men really need to let go of this belief that women foist onto you when you come across women like me online. When you're around a partner that automatically comes and in, in, becomes insecure when you come across my way, that is the helpless feminine, aka the toxic feminine that is talking. A toxic feminine and masculine is only afraid of me because I represent to their partner sumptuousness wealth, a table that has already been prepared, that is independent, fully sourced by the divine, in need of nothing, with the common goal of wanting to sacrifice in ways that promote the couple, the power of the couple, rather than using my partner as life support. Because when a man that comes across me listens to my heart, they recognize that consciousness exists like mine. And with that consciousness, consciousness, they begin to become trapped in my web of truth, which removes from that toxic feminine and masculine their life support. Never get with a clingy bitch. You can avoid that by listening to me. Ashe.